Okay, let us solve the problem number 7.3 in this video. This problem is from the chapter number 7. The problem is word number 723 in the memory shown in figure 7.3. This figure is from the book. Contains the binary equivalent of 3455. 5, 5. That means this number is given in the decimal number. This word number is also in decimal. Then we have to list the 10 bit address and the 16 bit memory content of the word this number is the content or this is the data and this is the address because you can see that in this figure 7.3 so this is figure 7.3 here we have the contents of a 1024 into 16 memory that means we have 16 bit data okay these are the 16 bit memory content here we have 16 number of bits so here you can see that this is a 10 bit memory address so it goes from 0 0 0 that is 10 number of zeros up to 10 number of ones that is if we see 2 to the power 10 is 1 0 2 4 okay so these numbers goes from 0 0 0 up to 1023 that means 1023 so this is possible with 10 bit memory address so here you can see that this is a 10 bit memory address and here we have a 16 bit memory content that means in this memory address the content is this much here we have at this memory address 1 okay decimal equivalent of 1 the memory content is this one 0018 in hexadecimal so for this problem we have to find out the binary equivalent of this memory address this is memory address and binary equivalent of 3455 list the 10 bit address we have to represent this decimal number in 10 bit binary address and we have to represent this data in 16 bit memory content of the word in the second part what we have to do it is required to store the once complement of the data of location 723 the data of location 723 is nothing but this one so this is the decimal equivalent of the data contained in the location 723 so we have to list the address and data we have to find out the once complement of this data and this once complement we have to store in the last location last locations mean the 1023 location that is 10 number of binary ones so let us solve this problem so first of all i will write here here the word number 723 this number is in decimal okay i am denoting with base 10 is the memory address okay so this is the memory address and and we can see that this number is in decimal that is base 10 i have written here and the content of the memory address 723 that is the content of this memory address 723 is this one okay that means this is the data is 3455 so these are the two given conditions this data is also in decimal now we have to represent this address in 10 bit memory address and we have to represent this data in 16 bit memory content so we have to find out the binary equivalent of these two numbers so we have to find out 723 in decimal is equal to what will be the number in binary and we have to again find out 3455 this is the data in decimal and we have to find out the 16 bit binary equivalent so let us convert this to binary numbers 723 is we can write it as 512 plus 128 plus 64 plus 16 plus 2 plus 1 okay if we add this number we will get 723 so there is another process of converting a decimal number into binary that is dividing by 2 okay that will be another one or simpler one so here i am showing another method the sequence goes from 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 square 2 cube 2 to the power 4 2 to the power 5 2 to the power 6 2 to the power 7 2 to the power 8 2 to the power 9 2 to the power 10 so if we convert these numbers to the decimal equivalent what we'll have here we will have 1 this is 2 this is 4 so 2 square is 4 2 cube is 8 2 to the power 4 is 16 2 to the power 5 is 32 okay 2 to the power 6 is 64 here we have 128 then we have 256 this 2 to the power 9 means 5 1 2 and this 2 to the power 10 is 1024 okay so these are the decimal and 
their two power representation so for finding out the binary equivalent of the 723 what we have to do whatever be the number here we have to put one at this respective values and if this number if any one of this number is not there in this sequence we will put zero here that means one is there so we'll put here one okay therefore we can write 723 in decimal is equal to so one we have so one means two to the power zero so here we'll have one so two is also there so one four is not there and eight is not there so we'll put here four zero and eight is also zero okay then we have 16 16 means one okay 32 is not there so we'll put here zero then 64 okay 64 is one then we have next is 128 okay 64 after 120 so we'll put here one okay then we have 256 256 okay here we do not have 256 so we'll put here zero and 512 512 means one so here we have to see if there are 10 digits or not so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay so this is the 10 bit binary equivalent of this memory address therefore the binary equivalent of 723 in decimal is equal to this one 10110101011 so this is in binary and we have 10 bits here so this is the 10 bit memory address in the first part we have seen we have seen that we have to list the 10 bit address so we have got the 10 bit memory address now we have to find out the 16 bit memory content okay that means this is the memory content now we have to convert this decimal number into 16 bit binary number so 3455 so 3455 3455 is equal to 2048 plus 1024 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 following this same sequence so following this sequence here we'll have 2 to the power 11 is 2048 whatever will be the number from this sequence we have here we'll put here 1 and if any of this number these numbers okay these numbers you see here if any of this number is not present here in this summation form that will be zero so here we'll write three four five five in decimal is equal to here we have one one is there so here we'll put one two is there four is there eight sixteen thirty two sixty four then after sixty four we have one twenty eight so one twenty eight not there so put here a zero okay then we have two fifty six so put here one after 256, we will have 512. 512 is not there in this summation form. So, we will put here 0. 1024 will be 1. After 1024, we have 2048. So, it is here. So, it will be 1. Okay. So, now let us count the number of bits or number of digits. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, we have to represent in 16 bit. Okay. So, we will add here 0. 4 number of 0. So this will become a 16 bit data now. So this is the 16 bit equivalent of the data. Okay, that means this is the data contained in the memory at the 723. So this binary information will be available in this memory address. Okay, so the binary equivalent of 3455 is 0000. Then we have 1101. Then we have 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 then we have 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 so we have a 16 bit binary number here okay so this is the data equivalent so we have got the 10 bit memory equivalent okay and 16 bit memory content equivalent so we have got the 16 bit memory content and we have got the 10 bit memory address okay now what we have to do now we have to go to the second part so in the part a we have solved this one so now we have to go to the second part in the second part it is required to store the ones complement data of location 723 so this location 723 data is nothing but this one to the last location last location is which one last location will be all ones that means 10 number of ones list the address and the data okay so 
in the second part the last location or memory address last location or memory address using 10 bit binary number is equal to so 10 number of ones will be there 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 okay so this is the last memory address so this is the binary equivalent and if we see the decimal equivalent it will be 1023 base 10 so at this memory address we have to store the two's complement of this number okay so we have to find out the one's complement of this number now one's complement of this number will be just the opposite that means we have to replace zero with one and one's replace with zero so finding of one's complement of this binary number is very much easy therefore the content of the memory address will be equal to so we have to invert all the digits here okay so here we have one 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 then zero zero one zero one zero 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 then zero 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 so this will be the memory content at this location so at this location this is the memory content so if we find out the decimal equivalent what we'll do we'll take four at a time so this is nothing but 15 so if we find out in hexadecimal we'll have here f okay this one is nothing but two two means it will be two and this one is eight it means it will be as it is and here we'll have zero so this will be the content in hexadecimal so in hexadecimal the content of this memory address will be this much and the content of this memory address in binary will be this one and in hexadecimal this will be this one this much okay so this is the solution of the problem number 7.3 thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you